Hey guys, Bridge here and in this video we're going to create uh, a calendar using variants. Now this is part of a series in which we're creating an entire design system from scratch. So feel free to check out the playlist if you haven't seen the other videos, but you can also just follow along this one video for the calendar. So we're going to get started and the very first thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're going to select one of these elements since we already have a style figured out for uh, it's it's kind of like different being a calendar but uh, um, it's it's not too far from a drop down in some sense so we're going to simply leverage this element and uh, let's just detach the instance just to make it easier on ourselves and uh, I'm going to essentially created the different uh, calendar elements so let's go right here i'm going to simply select these guys and uh, now we're going to add uh, the main text so what we're gonna do here is uh, we're going to center it right here all right let's make it a little bit bigger and uh, let's just duplicate this, make it just a little bit smaller so that we can uh, actually add uh, the numbers. So, and we're actually going to start uh, maybe with the date. So let's go over here. We're going to have Monday and all the other, we're going to have Tuesday. And basically we're essentially adding the dates. Uh, um, just want like the, the two initials and uh, pretty much set and uh, good to go, I would say. Now, as you can see, we need uh, a bit of space. So we're just going to make it a little bit bigger in that sense. I'm going to rename this to calendar real quick. Let's center this and uh, yeah, now we can actually get started and uh, really sort out the numbers. All right, so I'm probably going to leverage this tool right here, which is to increase the um, the space between one another. And uh, yeah, I think this could uh, work initially, Let's center it so that when we add the numbers, they're all going to be nice and centered. We're going to add uh, five lines of text. <clears throat> now this is going to be a bit of a tedious part <laughs> where we just need to add uh, all of the numbers, but hey, that's part uh, of creating a calendar from scratch. So let's go over here. Let's continue 14, 15, you know the drill by now. <laughs> and uh, basically, the, um, another thing that you can do whenever you're tackling like projects is you can already um, find like some pre-made elements but I just want to show you guys how you can create them from scratch since you're not always going to have the luxury of uh, being able to <laughs> drag and drop uh, a UI component uh, because sometimes or actually quite a bit of times if you're going to do this uh, job professionally uh, you're going to create uh, um, components from scratch so that's that's just how it is all right now let's make the first uh, and also the last three digits uh, in a color which is going to be lighter so probably from these lines towards the blue um I'm not sure about it um yeah maybe let's let's just go with some grays something like like this or even lighter yeah, let's go let's go lighter all right so far so good now let's add the, a value over here and we are going to also add some arrows on the right and on the left. And by the way, I want to use the same color also for these elements. Actually, one tint darker. 
uh, simply because uh, I want the, the user to be able to see the, uh, the dates, but I don't want to drive as much visual emphasis as there was previously. So let's search for a arrow and we could potentially go with uh, um, trying to think um, maybe, maybe something like this could work well or even uh, I was thinking also like maybe like one of these guys I'd like to have some sort of like element um, surrounding it so probably what we're gonna do is we're simply going to add this arrow right here and uh, we're going to add on uh, like just below it a circular ele element and I'm going to copy the style paste the style by using option command C and option command V over here and uh, probably need to make uh, this arrow a bit smaller is the same uh, color as we did before so this one right here maybe a little bit darker yeah that, that will do and uh, I want to make this uh, just a tiny bit uh, smaller and uh, alright I think we're in a good position now I want to also make uh, the shadow just a little bit less uh, um, pronounced simply because uh, I want it to be clear that there is like <laughs> the shadow also on, on top of this section and uh, yeah, let's just group it bring it all the way here and uh, let's change the um, direction by using a uh, shift plus H and I'm probably going to keep it like this I think it's uh, working uh, pretty well all right still not too sure about the shadows here um, maybe one thing that we can consider is making them uh, um, in a light blue something around these lines let's try and remove the shadows let's try to make these uh, blue like that yeah the mind maybe even lighter let's give it a shot yeah that will do all right <clears throat> so far so good when it comes to this uh, uh, calendar just going to bring the arrows a little bit here on the right and on the left and uh, yeah seems uh, pretty legit just try and make this one darker and uh, yeah I think we're good to go with the first one so what we're gonna do next is we're going to transform this uh, into a component and right after that we're going to click on the variant in order to add our very first variant since a calendar oops it's going to have different variants and uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, by using a common key going to enlarge this section bring this second calendar here and we're going to start adding the different uh, type of uh, calendar variations which we want so the very first one is going to be calendar with uh, <coughs> a select state so this run right here I'm going to make it selected and uh, Let's bring it down so that it covers the number. All right, so far so good. Now let's uh, make this one blue. And uh, here we go. All right, all right. Let's bring this one here. And now let's create uh, a from to scenario. So basically we're going to have uh, a scenario where we're going to have this uh, full color and uh, also this one 
it's going to be the same. Let's select these elements, and uh, we also need uh, a, a box, which is going to cover the section all the way across. Let's bring these guys a little bit below. And uh, here we go. All right, let's give it a tint around these lines. Maybe let's consider also changing the color of these guys right here since they are selected now. All right, so far so good. So we have uh, our selected pattern. Maybe another thing we can consider is making these blue, making this all like that, but maybe it's, it's too much. So let's go one step backwards and uh, let's just select the other one. Now, at, at this point, what I want to add is also a state uh, where basically I'm saying uh, um, to add a reminder or to simply, actually, you know what? I'm going to have a selected state and uh, one which is uh, essentially in the midst of, of being uh, selected something like this maybe you're hovering over different options and you're seeing uh, this uh, um, this element uh, but you're not selecting it right away so this one is going to be the very next state and uh, this is going to make sense in just a moment guys so we're also going to add uh, <coughs> a uh, possibility to add reminder We're going to have uh, a plus button. So let's go back on the icons, or actually, even better than that, under components. Uh, we're going to write plus. Um, for whatever reason, it didn't find that one. Yeah, this will do. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to set this uh, to a color such as this one, or even this one here, oops. Let's give it a shot. Uh, I prefer the other one. <laughs> so, all right, so far, so good add reminder and we are almost set what we need now is two buttons so we're going to leverage our um, button which we created previously in the series and we're going to select a small size for this button and uh, potentially even smaller than that but okay think that uh, that will work so one thing that we can do in order to make it just a little bit smaller is we can select all of these guys or actually even just the yeah let's just go like this oops here we go and we can kind of like shrink it just a little bit and one thing that we want to make sure is that the icons aren't stretching. So this is like super, super important. Um, you, want, you want to double check the icons after you do stuff like that. But if you check, uh, now the buttons are a little bit uh, uh, less high. So that's, uh, that's good. So we have our default and then we have a small button. And uh, in this case, what we want uh, is uh, a baby blue button and we're going to be pretty much uh, good to go. So okay, let's keep it like that and uh, let's switch them. So first one is going to say, actually let's, let's say remove on this one and uh, on the second one it's going to be done. 
And instead of the baby blue, we're going to go with the red. And uh, default. And I think uh, we are good to go. But for this specific button, I don't really like that one. So let's try and uh, keep uh, this one on a different style. <coughs> Maybe let's go with white. Active. And I'm trying different ones. Another thing that we can do is simply <coughs> to... Uh, Duplicate this one. I'm probably going with, with the baby blue. Let's let's do it like that. I think that will work. All right. Um, yeah, as you can see, I mean, you you don't necessarily always need to have like colors associated to a specific uh, um, thing that you want to communicate. It doesn't need to be like um, like one one on one ratio. So, yeah, keep that in mind. All right, just going to bring these buttons at level. Just to make sure that everything is clean and clear. Let's bring it down and uh, we're pretty much set. So, as you can see, creating like this, this series of buttons, it's not that big of a deal. Just keep going at it. And uh, as we saw in the previous videos, we're essentially going to add them step by step. All right, let's remove these guidelines. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to essentially wrap all of this up by creating the different pop properties for all of these guys. So property one is going to be type and uh, here it's going to be default. We're going to select the second one, which is going to be selected single. All right. Third one is going to be selected multiple and the fourth one is going to be selected and confirm all right so what this is doing is uh, essentially creating like the, the, the this different states and i'm going to show you what the end result looks like in just a moment let's just bring this variant uh, here on the right and let's uh, just make sure that the, all of this uh, is wrapped up cool cool all right calendar and we are good to go all right now let's go under the assets panel let's drag and drop a calendar and uh, as you can see here on the right, we have this variant. So type, I've selected single, selected multiple, and selected and confirm. All right, I'm going to change this to confirmation instead of selected and confirm, simply because uh, um, I don't like to have a drop down with these three dots in the menu items. So just for the sake of conveniency, we're going to <clears throat> keep it like that so confirmation and there we go all right hope you enjoyed this uh, video of this series hope it was helpful i want to remind you that on my youtube channel i have over, over 500 videos uh teaching you guys about ui ux uh, and uh, also recently launched a free course how to get started on uh, ui ux design so feel free to check to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.